So I'm gonna be doing something potentially quite stupid and opening all of my spam email. <laughs> yeah, so I've got 4% battery. We have planned this out just perfectly. It's all good. Luckily we live in the future and I can carry electricity in my hand without dying. It's amazing. <laughs> Still got the thing on from Splendor, that's all right. Okay. I ran this idea by some of you either on Twitter or Instagram, either way, at Brianne Worth, go follow me. This is peer pressure, go do it. Just go do it. It's not peer pressure, it's just your turn anyway. I was like, how much of a bad idea is it to open spam emails thinking someone would give me genuine advice? I don't know why I thought that. All of you basically just said to send it and it's probably gonna bite me in the ass, but we'll see. Right off the bat, we've got quite a lot of Bitcoin. <laughs> quite a lot of free money and Bitcoin offers that I need to claim ASAP. My personal favorite is your Bitcoin with the fancy Y, so you know they're serious. Contact us ASAP, confirm your payment. Bitcoin with... <laughs> Bitcoin millionaire, but the O is a little star and the rest of the letters, I don't even know where they've gotten this from. Probably to try and avoid spam filters, but <laughs> do I want to confirm my Bitcoin payment? We might not open that one. I can't imagine it's gonna be good. Doesn't matter though, because the next one down says I've got 13 grand added to my account. Tell you what, it's pretty windy today. Bitcoin. <laughs> Loophole Bitcoin on the other hand really knows their target market and they've said this message is from a trusted sender which always inspires quite a lot of trust. I was skeptical up until I read that. Let's open it. <laughs> okay, let's open this. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> let's just look at the email address, if you could call it that, that this was sent from. 3w1fs4ipp at g7iapyz3-o.s. You, you want, you, you can do this. Dot com. <sighs> Evidently, yes, a trusted sender. Oh good, they've made a little check. That's very cute, I love that. <laughs> Graphic designers, their passion. Confirmation needed, $12,687 payout is ready to be addressed in your name and we want to make sure it gets to the right place. Click below to start the confirmation process. What could go wrong? I reckon me and my three brain cells are not gonna do that today. I do have an email from Chloe Loveheart. Hey babe, it's Chloe, can I call you tomorrow? We'll open this. Oh my God, they're really, they're really not messing around with, <laughs> with the bright large font. You have a new message marked urgent from Chloe. Stuff Tinder when you can just check your spam email. Can I call you tomorrow? Click here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Looks like I've got a wedding arrangement with Chloe Loveheart and I've got another 12,254 euros added to my account. What account? My account. <laughs> the account. This one. <laughs> This one looks especially dodgy, which is saying quite a lot considering the quality of the last three we've opened. 932M beat Bitcoin. <sighs> it's got a little red fishing warning there, so we might not open this one. Uh, but if I did open it, I might have a thousand pounds waiting for me in, again, my account. <laughs> the main thing that I'm thinking of amongst quite a lot of things as I'm scrolling through this is what I'm exposing my phone to by opening these, but Instagram told me to do it, so we have to do it. Speaking of security risks on the internet, half of you already know where I'm going with this. Other than just not opening incredibly dodgy emails on the internet, on purpose. One of the easiest ways to protect yourself online is just by using a VPN like Surfshark. They're super easy to use, you install it and it's like two clicks of a button and it's on. There are so many practical uses for VPNs, it's actually insanity to me that it's not commonplace for everyone to just use them. An incredibly simplified way of explaining how a VPN works is that it basically creates like an encrypted tunnel between you and your internet provider. Because normally your data travels between your service provider and a network of other routers, leaving it quite exposed to anyone that wants to have a little look-see. It's kind of like like having a parent watch over your shoulder when you're on the computer 24 seven, but they don't have your best interest at heart and they can also see a lot more than you realize and they're also invisible and not your parent. You feel? <laughs> so VPNs help protect your data and they also allow you to watch blocked content online. So there's no more of those screens popping up saying that this is not available in your country. Happens all the time. If you're Australian, you'll know they are so annoying. If you use Surfshark, they also have a clean web feature which blocks things like phishing attempts, malware and trackers, but it can also block ads and banners from loading which chews up your phone data. So apparently depending on how you use the internet, you can save up to 40% of your phone data, which is especially handy if you're traveling. And if you do travel a fair bit, then Surfshark can help you get better prices 
prices on things like flights and accommodation and even online shopping because different prices show up for different countries. Google price discrimination is really interesting. This isn't even all of the use cases for VPNs, but Surfshark's website probably sums it up better than I can. So if you want to get a VPN or you're just keen to find out more, there's a link below if you want to check it out. If you use that link or this code at checkout, then you can get 83% off the second tier plan, which I think comes to $2.75 a month Australian. That's literally half a coffee. I forgot to mention that in addition to the 83% discount, you also actually get one month for free using that code. God, where were we in my spam inbox? Nowhere good. <laughs> Brienne Worth, I underscore sent underscore you underscore some underscore 1,000 euros, which in the body of the email appears to have changed to dollars, but that's fine. Oh, we've got some emails from Flannery's Organic. Love Flannery's. Get my kefir from Flannery's. <laughs> Use this secret to improve your finances. I'm really not sure that I need to because I, apparently I am fucking loaded. More Bitcoin, 13 grand this time. I am rolling in it. <laughs> my first payout. Oh, my first payout is ready. That's good. It's not the dodgiest thing in the world. It's still incredibly dodgy, but compared to that not too bad i'll give them that <laughs> in particular i quite like the check the transaction button it's giving me real good vibes oh this one's interesting victoria milan the world's number one dating site for married and it we're gonna have to open this one the world's number one dating site for married and attached okay i could have guessed that <laughs> looking for love in all the right places you don't have to be alone see my nude pics now okay <laughs> i have some issues with this first of all i'm not married so can i see the nude pics now so we might have to give this one a pass holy shit the email it's come from though i think tops the last one this is this is what I imagine happens to our brains, like binary code when we have a stroke. We've got another one from Victoria Milan. Discreet hookup for married and attached people. Oh, okay, this one's much more vibrant <laughs> than the last one. Victoria Milan, relive the passion, find your affair. This is kind of gross. Looking for a perfect... <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be quite a lot of bleeping if I read that out. So you can just have a browse for yourself. <laughs> Did we actually just get a running total editing, Brienne, of how much money I've made on Bitcoin throughout this, <laughs> this little experiment? Because we've got another 8,000 euros and then another 1,000 on top of that in this illustrious account. Congratulations. Please confirm your winning ticket today, F name. <laughs> your ticket, Brienne Worth. Congratulations, you've won. Please confirm receipt. Amazing. <laughs> Congratulations, details apply. I love so much how vague this is. Are uh, like the targets of these types of emails just old people who have never used a computer before? Because who on earth, who would open this and think, yeah, no, that seems legit. Let's click on it. Me for a YouTube video, apparently. Secret affair. Ooh. Spicy. <laughs> you have a new sweetheart, not another one. I really don't think I can afford this many girlfriends. Hello, Brienne Worth. Do you want to play with me? My <laughs> Okay. Again, with the perfect. Not perfect, perfect. No, you know what? I can respect this. It's my responsibility to practice safe sex. At least, at least they're doing that. I love that the world is at a place where spam emails are still practicing safe sex. That's really good. <laughs> Your perfect French Connection UK buddy is waiting. I think that's a little bit too bougie for me. I prefer to wear old man shirts, but thank you so much. We've got another 12,000 euros and then another 9,548. We've got an email. They're not even trying anymore. Payment N.672MBTC is the heading. <laughs> 12,000 euros in that one, not bad. The next one just says payment three times, just in case you missed the first two. I love that it's Bitcoin that's going into my account, but everything is measured in euros. Thank you for your interest in our investment investment program. We tried to call you, but you didn't. <laughs> Thank you for having shown interest in our Bitcoin programmy. They're right, I didn't do that. <laughs> we want to inform you that your investment bonus is now ready to be paid. I love that I can invest nothing and still get a bonus. That's true value. Oh good, and it just keeps going. I've actually got a special on an aluminium sign. I was waiting for that one to come through. <laughs> Adios, Canine gift key from Averiki Slept Kazov. That sounds promising. Let's give that a go. I'm not opening that one. Got an email from Bulk Nutrients, which I think sounds like a legitimate business. Did you run in Melbourne? Honey, I don't run anywhere. <laughs> Payment 12,254. Check your new added balance. I am just stacking paper today. Oh, that's where that one went. Huh. <laughs> Well, there was an email in here that I was waiting for. All right. Well, it was in my spam inbox. That's good. Date nice Asian. Meet beautiful, adoring Asian women today. Hi there. Swallow would like to meet you. 
It's all about the subtlety with spam emails. No fake profiles, no credit card required. Girls. Let's open that one. I'm curious. Let's give that one a go. Oh, girls will make first move. Amazing. Looking for fun? Try this now is 100% free. These girls will make your life much hotter. So will climate change. <laughs> oh man. The formatting on this puppy is just... <laughs> More aluminium sign offers, and just when I thought I couldn't get enough aluminium signs, I better invest in some more while this sale is on. <laughs> Brian Chapman, write me back. Compliment of the day to you, I'm Brian Chapman. <laughs> What? <laughs> Catherine sent me 13,000 euros. Thanks, Catherine. You know what I'm quite surprised and disappointed by? There are no Serbian princes that are offering me their fortune. <laughs> Where are my foreign relatives with a secret royal trust fund? I was really hoping to find them today. Buffy sent you her hot selfies. Thanks, buff dogs. <laughs> with the frequency of these Bitcoin ones, it leads me to believe that these style of emails are working on somebody. And those people who are falling for it can probably vote, which no, honestly does explain the state of our world fairly accurately. Now Kim wants to call me tomorrow. What was the other one? Chloe? Buffy? I've got that many girlfriends and all of them want to call me tomorrow. It's genuinely hard to keep track. Oh, I've got an email from my uni. <laughs> Great. Ethics and integrity. Okay. I don't care about that. Attention winner. Thank you for addressing me by my real name. Hi Brian Worth. Congratula oh, congratulations. <laughs> You've been a... You've been a mad dog is what I assume that says. Let's find out. You've been awarded free spins. <laughs> so close. Claim your free bottle now available without a prescription. What are they talking about? Let's have a look. Male enhancement research. Get a stronger, thicker, improved. Okay, we'll just leave that right where it is. <laughs> what the I don't know if I can put this in the video. 69 year old can I put that in a YouTube video? <laughs> Charlene Martha, low price for web. All webs are free in my house because the spiders put them up in the corner and they don't ever pay rent. And that's all of my spam emails because they expire after 30 days. What a shame. <laughs> I felt like mine were perhaps a little bit repetitive. <laughs> it was mostly Bitcoin. A couple of sexy singles in my area. I've got so many new girlfriends. That was a bonus. Lots of calls to make and receive tomorrow. Absolutely no word of loaded foreign relatives. No distant cousin who needs me to send them money so they can access their fortune. Last time I checked my emails, which was a few months ago, I definitely had a Nigerian prince of some description offering me their millions and yet here we are. Oh man, <laughs> just one more. So I had a quick goog and I found this email that someone received. They're very on brand with the Nigerian theme. However, they're an astronaut stuck in space. <laughs> I'm Dr. Bakare Tundi, the cousin of a Nigerian astronaut, Air Force Major Abacha Tundi. He was the first African in space when he made a secret flight to the Salyut space station in 1979. He was on a later Soviet space flight, Soyuz T-16Z, to the secret Soviet military station. Oh Jesus, who cares? Point being, getting to the juicy bit, he was stranded there in 1990 when the Soviet Union was dissolved. His other Soviet crew members returned to Earth on the Soyuz, but his place was taken up by return cargo. <laughs> that is so dog on so many levels. <laughs> Pretty much whatever you've got in space, I can almost guarantee you can get it on Earth. So the fact that they've decided to leave him in space and just take the cargo that is completely replaceable is, for lack of a better phrase, a dog move. <laughs> In the 14 years since he's been on the station, he has accumulated flight pay and interest amounting to almost $15 million. It's held in a trust at the Largo National Savings and Trust Association. If we can obtain access to this money, we can place a down payment with the Russian space authorities for a return flight to bring him back to Earth. This will cost $3 million in order to access his trust fund. We need your assistance. Okay. I live for these emails because of all the 7 billion people on Earth, they need their assistance <laughs> to get Dr. Bakare Tandi out from space because they left him up there to bring cargo home when the Soviet Union dissolved. <laughs> I thought I used to come up with some banger excuses in high school, but nothing quite as elaborate as that. That's a creative writing piece. They would do well to write a book. Speaking of the Soviet Union, I made a drunk science video the other day talking about Chernobyl and radiation. And by the other day, I probably mean like two weeks ago. That'll be linked up in one of these corners if you want to go check it out. Also, every video I give shout outs to people who follow me on Instagram and also subscribe and put the notification bell on. So Instagram shout outs are coming from this photo and they go to Jen -na 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 four <laughs> Alice Smith but it's spelt as if you've hit your head on the keyboard. PJ Kalmer, Brian Hughes, 
Teddy Slay, Beck Woodhead, Call Me Kay Clifford, and Sophie's Malbone. Thanks for following me on Instagram and commenting on my last photo. And thanks for all of you who follow and comment on my clothing brand's Instagram at Rift Supply Co. If you weren't aware, I have a clothing brand called Rift. We've got a bunch of cool stuff. Here are some of the things that you can get. You can pay $0 upfront with Afterpay because obviously I love to use Afterpay and I assume you do as well. <laughs> Um, YouTube shoutouts go to Chris Berry, Pixels Pups, Arg, Amber Watley, Raja B, and Daniel Day. Thank you guys for having the bell on and commenting and uh, all of that. Twinkle fingers. And that's where I'm gonna leave you.